Okay, uh, so I'm going to go over the parts of the plant for science today. So, okay. Um, here's what we need to know for plants in grade one. Um, we need to know these parts, the roots, the stem, the leaf, the flower, and the seeds. Uh, I'm going to go through each point and explain them to you. I'll start with the roots. So the roots are at the bottom of a plant and they're in the soil. Soil is another word for dirt, okay? So the roots come down in the dirt and they're important for two reasons. They, when you water a plant, they collect the water um, and that is a way for them to get nutrients, which means food, from um, the water in the soil. And then it also acts like an anchor, so it makes sure the plant stays in one spot and wind doesn't blow it around. Then we have the stem. So on a flower, our stem looks like this. On a tree, our stem is this, but we call it a trunk, okay? Um, a stem has two important parts as well. When the roots take the nutrients up, then it goes into the stem and it goes up to the leaves. So um, it carries the food up to the leaves and it also helps the plant stand up straight. Then we have the leaves. The leaves are important because it catches sunlight and when it catches sunlight, it uses that to also get nutrients. So it uses sunlight to make food. Some plants might have big leaves. Okay, other plants have things like pines and pine needles. Um, they collect sunlight the same way to get nutrients, but they're skinnier. They just look different, but um, they act the same way as leaves. We just call them pine needles. Then we have the flower and the seeds, and these go together because the flower protects the seeds. Plants need seeds to make new ones. So every year when winter happens, something like a flower will die because it's too cold to live. It needs seeds to grow new ones in the spring. So um, one important thing about um, flowers is that they look pretty and smell nice. And that's not just for us to enjoy, it's actually to attract bees and butterflies. And when a bee goes, it gets something called pollen on it from the flower. And so it gets the pollen on the bee and then it flies to a new flower and then it spreads the pollen around. Now when this pollen gets on a new plant, it actually helps create new seeds. And that's really important for each flower to grow new ones. Um, so your job today is to draw your own plant and label it, okay? So what labeling means, remember in the beginning of grade one, before we could write sentences, we would draw a picture, like if you drew a picture of Miss McDonald, then you drew a line and you wrote Miss McDonald. That's what labeling means. So you would draw the roots, you draw some soil, then you draw a stem, okay? And then you draw a line from the stem, right? Stem. Draw a line from the roots, write roots. Then you draw a leaf, leaf. Draw a line and write leaf. Uh, then you draw the flower, write flower. Then you would draw seeds in the middle, write seeds. Now you don't have to see how there's two leaves. You don't have to write leaf, leaf at both picture of the leaves. You just need to write it one time so you know that shape means leaf. Um, so that's, that's your job today is to, uh, on a piece of paper, draw a plant. You don't have to do a flower. You could do a tree. You could do that kind of stuff. Um, a tree wouldn't have flower. It would just have seeds. Okay, it would just have roots, stem, leaf, seeds. So draw your own plant and label it and then send a picture in to me of uh, your labeled science plant. Okay, um, I had to go quickly on that video. I hope you understand it and I'm looking forward to seeing your labeled pictures.